Welcome to Natural Informant Weekly. I'm Danny Curtin. Thank you for joining me today. As the sunny days of summer are quickly approaching, many of us, particularly parents, reach for sunscreen to shield ourselves and our loved ones from sunburn and long-term skin damage. But before you reach for that bottle, research directly from the FDA proclaims you may be doing more harm than good. Today, we'll uncover the truth about the most common chemical sunscreen ingredients that you probably have in your home right now, and I'll introduce you to natural alternatives that are both effective and safe. According to the aforementioned research, six of the most common chemicals used in sunscreen can be detected in the blood of users for more than seven days. What's worse, the detected levels are higher than the FDA's own safety threshold. And this is all from just one application. Avabenzone, oxybenzone, octocrylene, homosalate, octosalate, and octanoxate were all detected at extreme levels for this prolonged seven-day period. The application of the chemical containing sunscreens as lotion, aerosol spray, non-aerosol spray, or pump spray had no effect on the amount of chemicals absorbed into the blood. These are serious findings since these chemicals are known to act as endocrine disruptors, which interfere with hormone function and can lead to developmental delays, reproductive issues, obesity, thyroid dysfunction, and even hormonal cancers. For example, oxybenzone, a common ingredient in many sunscreens, has been linked to changes in estrogen levels, altered birth weights, and an increased risk of endometriosis. With all of this in mind, how many sunscreen users think that there is only beneficial upside as they slather on sunscreen every day, even in the wintertime? And even worse, what about parents that only want the best for their children, but are unknowingly putting life-altering chemicals directly into their own children's blood, once, if not multiple times per day? For those people, I can only imagine that this information is infuriating. But the idea that using poison or getting sunburned are the only two options is a false choice. Chemical-based sunscreens are toxic and obviously unhealthy. But aside from staying in the shade, there are other options. One, which you may be familiar with, uses the same idea as chemical sunscreen. However, natural, mineral-based products do not use synthetic hormone-disrupting chemicals to block UV radiation. Instead, they create a physical barrier, typically using zinc oxide to reflect the UV radiation. Natural mineral-based sunscreens are widely available and can be purchased virtually anywhere sunscreen is sold. When I want to protect my children from prolonged exposure to the sun, this is the route I go. But for adults and myself, this final idea is the most intriguing. In addition to safer sunscreen options, research is now pointing to a completely different approach. Instead of blocking the sun's UV radiation, there are ways to naturally boost our skin's own UV protective mechanisms from the inside out. Those that live a healthy lifestyle, including eating healthy, avoiding chemicals, getting good rest, and taking dietary supplements are already doing this in an effort to avoid disease and live longer, happier lives. Well, this can also be done when it comes to protecting your skin from too much sun. In fact, Research as far back as 1998 concluded that those that took vitamin C and vitamin E before they went into the sun had far less tendency to sunburn. However, there is even more exciting research on an ingredient you may have only thought was beneficial for sleep, melatonin. This natural ingredient's benefits are continuing to pile up. Many people are using this compound for immune support, pain relief, and even to fight cancer but melatonin has now emerged as a powerful skincare ally. Recent research published in the International Journal of Molecular Science concludes that melatonin used topically has potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, especially on the skin. Melatonin enhances the skin's antioxidant systems, which makes it effective for neutralizing harmful free radicals, a crucial benefit for combating UV damage and the visible signs of aging. And it doesn't end there. Not only does topical melatonin protect the skin from sun-induced UV damage, but it also strengthens the skin's ability to repair itself, which makes it even more useful for those that have already experienced skin damage or sunburn. So, 
for all of us that are trying to do our best at taking care of ourselves naturally, maybe we've been thinking about skin and sunburn protection in the wrong way. Aside from melatonin and the noted antioxidants, there are many other ways to protect the skin from within. For even more detail, please refer to the information in the description below. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel so you never miss a week of the news you need to stay healthy. Again, I'm Danny Curtin. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.